twice, blink twice. Channing Tatum has three films in my top ten so far. Actually, I take that back. Deadpool and Wolverine is not my top ten. Still really good film, though. I really liked it. Um, but close. So he's got that. Fly Me to the Moon. And now Blink Twice. That man is in his fucking bag and he's going with Zoe Kravitz. Bro, he's living his best life, okay? So, uh, basically this girl and her friend, um, played by somebody I know from Search Party. You guys need to watch that show. It's very fucking good. I can't remember her name. Save my life either. It's a really bad reviewer. I'm so sorry if you clicked that. It's fucking video. Jesus Christ. I, I'm going to get on track. I'm tired. So, basically both of them are like hostesses for like his big gala event, stuff like that. And he's like, hey, like they hit it off one night, whatever it's snack. And he like runs back up there to talk to her. And he's like, hey, he's like, why don't you, you know, like come to my island this weekend? And she's wanting a vacation, whatever like that. And he's like a rich billionaire that seems kind of attracted to her. And so she's like, fuck yeah. So they go on the island. And every night they're partying, you know, they're doing drugs, they're like smoking, they're drinking, they're doing whatever. And like during the day, they're like kind of tired and this and that. But then, uh-oh, uh-oh, dirt under my nails. This bitch got a bruise. This one bitch, fuck, something doesn't happen. She likes, she didn't stay a little too late, she'll be like, ooh, it's that. And they're starting to realize everything might not be the way that it seems. That gave a good synopsis of this film about what the trailer gives you. Um, and so this movie is going to be hard as fuck to talk about without spoiling, but I promise you I'm going to do it. So this movie, just like every movie set up in third acts, one, two, three. The setup for this movie. And the second act is pretty much just, we're getting there, we're going, and we're partying, we're doing whatever. And it is some of the best fucking shit I've seen in a while. Um, just the way Zoe Kravitz, like, has the camera position. The cinematography is insane. So, Homegirl's friend, the main character's best friend, um, she's off in the woods during the second act. And this isn't a spoiler, I'm just talking about the fucking cinematography off the chain is. So she's wearing like a yellow towel on her head. And the whole rest of the shot is, you know, green trees, leaves, whatever. And it's just so beautiful. I was like, bro, this shit need to be put in a fucking museum. It looked good. Um, it's just got incredible shots. This movie is incredibly paced. Um, you know, when you kind of start kind of getting bored of one scene, uh-oh, we're in another scene. And when I say kind of getting bored, you're not getting bored. You're just flipping the scene, cause, so you won't. Um, everybody does such a good job. I didn't realize some of these actors have been here, so I'm not going to spoil them for you. They're not like cameos or anything like that. I just guess. It's been a while since I've seen a trailer for it. Like, I go to the movies every week, and I haven't seen a trailer for Blake twice in like almost four months. There's no advertise for this movie, and I really hate that. If you guys are watching this, if you stick or stuck around five minutes, go fucking watch this, please. I'm begging you. Um, but this movie just does, like, it just has such a good message. It does such a good thing about, like, you know, powerful men in power, and I'm sure you're gonna have those ones out there. It's fucking DI, goddamn. I don't even think they know what the fuck that even means. They have a new term every other fucking week. Um, I hate that too. I used to, I used to blindly be like, oh yeah, but that, no, and I started doing research, I was like, wait, do you know what this means? Why am I calling everything woke? Now there are things out there like that. There, there are. There are things out there where they're like, man, we just really hate this. Let's fuck, like there are, like there are. Um, but this movie, I just really feel like it's coming from almost kind of like a place of closeness. I don't know if that's true or not, like with Zoe, but with them being in Hollywood, you know, like you have like the Weinstein shit, you have all this other stuff happening, and it's almost kind of like it's close to home. Um, that's why they have a trigger warning at the beginning of the film. They posted on Twitter. I saw that the other day, and I was like, the fuck? I was like, what does this mean? Because uh, I, didn't, I didn't read it. I just saw that they put one out. 
And, you know, uh, this movie is so gut-wrenching at times. Like, especially towards the third act, like, when you start actually, like, building up to what this twist is, what's actually happening here, and once you figure out what's actually happening here, it just fucking rips your heart out, man. Like, you're like, damn. Like, it's some of the darkest, scariest shit I've seen in a non-horror movie in a while. Like... When you realize the shit that's going down here, you might actually be sick to your fucking stomach. I was like, dude, that's a problem. That's why they get the fucking warning. Um, and I'm not even like a wuss like that. Like, I'm like, fuck. But it was still just one of those things. I was like, damn. I was like, I kind of figured that's what was happening. Because it's not like one of those type of movies. So I was like, damn, that's a mystery. Like, it is a mystery. But, like, it's kind of in your face. It's like you kind of like, you're, you're not stupid. You're like, oh, yeah, that's what's happening. But you're expecting it to be something else, but when it's that, you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> and so, I don't know, like, this movie just does such a great job at what it's trying to portray, the themes it's trying to have, while also having great cinematography, great performances from everybody. This is damn near uh, my boy's, I would say, third or fourth best role. Like, it's, like, in that order, it's probably, like, top three, top four for him. Uh, this character he plays is so well written so well acted by my boy mr tatum okay mr gambit um in just a way where you're just like whenever he's on screen he's such a presence whenever you know characters do anything like i said smoke and drink everything like you're just on the edge of your seat you're just waiting for something happy wait for that pin to drop and i fucking love this movie with that then I'm going to have to give Blink twice. Fucking 10 out of 10. I don't give a fuck. It's my channel, bitch. 10 out of fucking 10. Masterpiece. I'm giving it a Mr. Shock to Silver Approval as well. Um, this is might be the first fucking 10 I've given out, like, physically on paper. Um, I've given out some other 10s this year. Like, for example, Dune. I did that little review that got no fucking views is when I was starting out. Um, but, like, you know, stuff. Like, I give out 10s. It's just this month and last month jesus man uh but I, I i have hope we're at the end at the end now we've got one more movie this month we've actually got two i'm not seeing the second one i'm actually skipping a movie this month finally we have reagan and with dennis quaid that's the one i'm skipping i i, I do three hours fuck that with, about dennis quaid no i'm sorry i'm fucking you can pay me i'm sorry hell no um and then Afraid comes out. That's probably going to be a piece of shit, but I like John Cho. So I'm going to watch that. Hoping that's actually going to be good. Surprises me. It probably won't, but I hope it will. Uh, and then we start out September. Um, and there's a bunch of there's a bunch of movies coming out that month I'm actually a little excited for. Um, I feel like my most anticipated for next month is My Old Ass. Um, I am very excited for that. I really love Aubrey Plaza. So I'm looking forward to that. And if you guys agree with that, and you guys are looking forward to that... You know I'm going to review on the channel, so how about you go on and hit that like, subscribe button, and comment down below and let me know your thoughts. And by the way, let me know if you'd like me to fucking review something else on the channel. I know I keep reviewing stuff that comes out this time, but like, hell, the Drive still book comes out next week. I'm going to get that. If you want me to fucking review Drive, let me know. Okay, if there's something else, you're like, damn, motherfucker, you play this, you done that, I play video games, like, just let me know. Let me know what you want me to check out. Let me know what you want me to get, do. Maybe have some more uh, content on the channel. Because like I said, next week going to be dry as fuck one review. So uh, with that, hope that you guys like this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Uh-oh. We need to know what's really going on. I love my popcorn. Movies, popcorn.